everyone. Uh, my name is Aarti Nair. I am a celebrity makeup artist and I would like to thank Femina and Grazia for reaching out to me to do this. Uh, it brings me immense joy to take you through my masterclass of a festive look that I love. So without any further ado, let's begin. So I've already prepped my skin. I have put a the beautiful Smashbox primer. And I'm gonna. I've already wet my sponge. The sponge should always be damp when you're if you're using a beauty blender to um, do your base. So I'm gonna start with my corrector and my concealer. So I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Peach corrector, and I'm just gonna put it in spots where I feel like I need a bit. There is a bit of discoloration, and I need an extra concealing. So I have this thing here and here a little bit. So I just put a little bit of peach just to cut the darkness a little bit. Now always remember that a peach corrector is very important especially if you have any sort of discoloration. Um, it also avoids from your concealer looking grey. So it's very important to use a corrector. Now a corrector, again, you don't need that much. You have to be very careful when you're using a corrector. Um, it is a bit peach, as you can see on my skin. It is a bit peach, and but when I put my concealer, it's going to even out completely. So as you can see, a little bit of the discoloration goes, yeah. And this is one way you can ensure to never have um, to never have grayish under eyes. A corrector really works well. You get various correctors. I'm going to start my concealer. So I'm going to start with my forehead. So I'm using like a honey color. I've mixed honey and warm honey a little bit. I love mixing colors because I think that's when I get my perfect color. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to start. So wherever you put your corrector, that is where you have to apply your concealer. And around the nose. So you necessarily necessarily won't, won't put corrector here. Even if you don't, you have to put a bit of concealer. So you can see I'm just dabbing it. I'm not dragging my sponge. Because when I drag my sponge, I will remove more than I'm putting. So that's very important. And now you can see the difference. Like there's no discoloration. Everything is balanced. It's, it's exactly the same color as my skin tone. So that like I say on all my videos, there are days when I do not feel like putting any kind of foundation. So I will not put foundation. I will just do corrector concealer and I'll dab it very gently all over my face and that will be my foundation because I like my skin to show I like my skin to show through the foundation so mix a little bit of my concealer so you can see the vast difference once you put your concealer how different and even it looks and you can actually see the purpose of the corrector and how it balances out everything even here like around the lip we put a little bit so you'll see the difference immediately So as you can see, I'm just dabbing it. I'm not dragging it. And there we go. So I'm going to now do a little bit under my eye. Again, I'm just placing the product right now. And then I take my sponge and I just dab very gently. I'm not being very rough. I'm being very very gentle, super gentle in fact. Close your eyes and then go into the corner. And then whatever's left on the hand, 
you take on the sponge like this and then you can just go into the broader areas so whatever's left like i'll put a little bit on my forehead just to get that evenness and if there's anything you want to conceal more then you can go and conceal if you have like a spot or something that you want to cover you can go in and conceal that so i really like how my skin is looking right now so i'm going to put very very little foundation almost nothing just for a bit of evenness around my face so i'm going to put very little i'm going to take a like literally that much and i'm just going to do one two three and then i'm just going to dab i'm not going to put too much at all just for a bit of evenness around the cheeks around the forehead again you can see i've dabbed everything through just to get a little bit of brightness and then i take the rest that is on my hand and i dab it all over and that's it so you get the most natural finish in your foundation when you take the time and you dab and you apply things correctly and then if you want you can put a little bit on your neck but basically you can see how it's looking super even now i'm going to use a loose powder i'm going to take my puff and i'm going to dab i'm going to first dab my under eyes really well because i want my under eyes to be properly set so even if you put a little bit of extra it's fine you can always brush that off but because of the kind of weather that we live in i really like to dab my skin properly with powder and take like a fluffy brush like this and i'll just buff it all out so there's no excess powder and even if there is excess powder by the time you finish your eye makeup your blush and everything you will see that your face does settle settle down yeah by the time you put highlighter and all of that everything settles so you have nothing to worry about next we're going to do eyebrows so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my fluffy brush sorry i'm going to take my spoolie fluffy brush and i'm going to first brush my eyebrows into shape so i know like what i want it to look like and then i have to do this on a little mirror because it's really difficult to do it while i'm shooting so i'm going to brush my eyebrows out okay and i'm using an angular pencil like that and i'm just going to and i'm just going to fill it yeah and then so once i have my general shape then i will go in and fill in the brows i don't like to come too forward yeah i'd like to just blend it out like that so i will just keep brushing my eyebrows like that because i don't like a very defined eyebrow in the front but each to his own each one likes the eyebrows a certain way so i like to just use my fingers to clean up any mess that i've made so 
do you see how beautifully filled in and it just changes your entire look so i'm going to just give it a little bit there we go i keep brushing it up because i don't like it very drawn very perfectly so i keep brushing it up to the course of my makeup just to get a more natural finish to my brows this one is a little bit more problematic so what i do is i start with where i want it to be filled yeah because this is the part that i want filled so i'll start here yeah so i'll start there and then i'll work my way back I don't like a very heavy arch, right? I like it more curved. Also, this eyebrow is very different from this eyebrow. So, so I don't hurry through my brows. You should take your time and do them properly. So don't be, don't be in a hurry. to do your brows my eyebrow gel every time i do my eyebrows whether i'm going out for a function whether i'm just filling them for like a shoot or something i will always put eyebrow gel because what this does is it ensures that the little little finer hairs of your eyebrow don't fall down and they're all in shape so and i really like that So next we're going to do contour. So I like to do my my contour, my blush and everything before I do my eye makeup. Just cuz it's a thing. So I'm going to use a my MAC bronzer. I'm going to take off the excess and so these little little hairs that I have keep my okay, so I'm going to take a little bit dab of the excess very important and this is my mark the middle of my ear so watch how i'm doing it i take a little bit i place it and then i just i buffer it into shape so i look straight at the mirror and i'll just go in into my forehead to get that shape and i'm not coming all the way down here i'm not coming here i'm staying here because this is where i want the shape so you can all see the difference it gives you a bit of definition and then i'm going to go on to my jawline and then on my chin and now on the side take a little bit and i'm using an angular brush so it helps me get the angle that i want yeah so i'm going to you can either place it like this or you can dab the product and then just buffer it upwards i like buffering it upwards which is gives me a better contour so i like doing it up you see so it's giving you that it's giving you that contour but it's not giving you like a very drastic line a little bit on the forehead a little bit on the jaw just to get some color and sometimes what i do is i use the same brush and i put give myself a little bit of a contour on the nose So what basically contouring does is that it gives your face a bit of, um, you know, before you do the contour, your face is very flat because you've done your, you've done your base, you've done your corrector, concealer, and then there's, there's nothing, there's no shading basically. So what the contour will do is it'll give you that shape, it'll give you that slight color in the face because when you put a warmer color. Here, you're basically creating shadows. You're creating depth in your face. 
So it's very important to use a matte bronzer for this because shine when light falls on you will make will give you more shine. So it won't give you that shadow that you want, that structure and shape that you want with contouring. Which is why you should always use something that's matte and to help you do it better, you should always use an angular brush. Yeah, so now that we've run the contour, I'm going to go on to my blush. And for blush today, I'm going to use something really like nice and peach because I want to do a pop color on the lip. So I'm using like a very natural peachy tint which has a little bit of shine in it. So I take a little bit, dab off the excess. You give yourself a small smile and just dab very little blush just to look flush on the apples of your cheek. So take a little bit. It has very little shine in it. So I'm not going all the way up here. I'm just dabbing it on the apples of my cheek. And if you think that, you know, maybe I've got too much blush, I want a little more, you know, I want it a little bit more blended, you can just take your powder brush that you use to apply powder. And all you have to do is buffer it into your skin and all the excess powder comes out. An alternative to this is the puff that you used. Yeah, you use the same, but don't take any excess powder and you just dab it. There we go. So all the excess is removed, and then by the time you finish your makeup, you'll see how beautifully it's settled. Now let's go on to eyes. For eyes, I'm gonna keep the eyes very soft, very um just enough definition but I'm going to use brown because I want to do a really bright lip and I think that that is really um it's 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 really festive and it's beautiful basically so I'm going to do I'm going to take like a very lightish nude color for the eyes I just want to give it like a beautiful nude shimmer effect to it so I'm going to use my little mirror and I'm just going to put a little bit okay. see it just has the right amount of shimmer I'm going to put it all over the eyelid I'm going to buffer it into the brows you see how how beautiful that looks like it just gives the face a really complete look and I'm going I'm using a fluffy brush like this I'm dabbing off the excess and I'm just applying it I'm first dabbing it on the lid okay I'm just dabbing it on the lid and then I will buffer it all over the going into the brow line We can't do this with all colors. We can only do this with like a nude um, because it almost looks like a skin color. So you can take the liberty and go into the brows. But I would not do this with like a strong brown or a matte or something that has a lot of pigment in it. Another trick that I do is whatever color I put on the lid as my base. I also put a little bit at the bottom. So I'm going to take the same color, dab off the excess. And I'm just going to put a little bit at the bottom. Just very little. And because you're using a fluffy brush, I mean, for those of you who are not used to doing this, I would say use, use a flat brush like this. I, I am used to it, so I use the same brush. But I would insist on using like a flat brush like this which is easier to control okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my so I'm going to use two browns I'm first going to use a matte brown like this okay and I'm going to put a little bit on the waterline sorry I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom just on the outer corner because I want a little bit of smokiness even at the bottom 
I love a bit of smokiness at the bottom. I want my eyes to look bigger. So here goes. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of a light brown. And then I'm gonna take a thin pencil brush, like the one I'm using, it's almost dome shaped. And I'm just gonna buffer that just to give my eyes a bit of definition at the bottom. Then I'm gonna go in with a dark brown like that, which is matte. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit just on the outer corner. Just on the outer corner, and I'm going to blend it. I'm going to blend it inwards. So from here, I'm just going to go in. going to blend it a little bit. I might change my brush to a flat brush which is easier to blend. Yeah, much easier. Yeah, just a little bit and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to put a little bit on the outer corner. And I'm going to blend. Now the thing when you're doing an eye makeup like this, you can either use a pencil, you can also use, you know, uh, a gel liner, you can use anything that you want. But when you're doing something like this, you need to go into it really quickly and you need to blend it because if it dries and then you try to blend it, it's not going to blend. So you have to be really, really quick about it. And then I take a brush with like no color and I just continue blending. For me, blending is really, really important. Yeah, I spend a lot of time just blending my eye makeup and making sure that there are no defined lines only because I feel like when you see, when you know where something has started and something has ended, it's not right. Yeah, except for line on. So now that we have done that, I'm gonna take a little bit of a dark brown color you can see I'm gonna take like a brownish color like that yeah just very little and I'm gonna take an angular brush like this and I'm just gonna look straight in the mirror mirror and I'm gonna create a crease yeah I'm just gonna create a crease I'm just gonna create what this angular brush does it makes my life so much easier when you're doing your own makeup because it's at an angle it really goes into that crease so you don't have to be worried about it going out or anything and then you just blend that so it opens up the eye completely it makes because you do want your eyes to be a little I, I want my eyes to be a little bit bigger because these are the little things that you can do, like even if you do less makeup, like you only put brown kajal, you can do small things like this that basically make it look like you've done a lot. So I like that aspect. I'm going to take my brown kajal and I'm going to put a generous coat of brown kajal on my waterline. Yeah. And then I'm going to take a thin brush like that and I'm going to just blend it out because I want that little smokiness at the bottom and now we're going to do lips. So this is as much eye makeup as I would like to do when I'm doing red lips. 
I don't like to do more because I want everything to be super balanced. So I'm gonna do my lip and then I'm gonna do my mascara. So let's start. So that's my first line. Now I'm gonna work around that. So I like to fill my entire lip with a lip pencil because it not only makes your lip look fuller, it also makes your lipstick last longer. So. Now I like to tilt my head this way so that I can get better access this way because I don't want to go from top to bottom, I want to go from below to top so I get a more rounded line. And when you make this frame on top, it's just easier to join. It just makes your life easier. So, one thing that I do when I'm doing red lips is I always keep my concealer brush ready. To correct And then you take your powder brush. So I take a thin brush like that. I take a little bit of loose powder. And then voila. And then you can check like that if your line is straight.
and there you have it guys like you don't need anything more when you're doing such a bright red lip you just need the right amount of eye makeup to balance it out not to forget to curl your lashes so you have to take all the lashes and one i do it about 5 6 times because i like super curl lashes and when you do like really simple eye makeup and you do just enough then you know that all the attention is on the red and it's so versatile you know you can wear it with any outfit you can um you know you can just have fun with it you can do red you can do pink you can do like a wine color for me this is my most favorite look like when you do like a bright red lip and you do just enough eye makeup with like two coats of mascara it looks amazing and this is my favorite look for the festive season like i always do a look like this and it's so simple it's it doesn't take long so i'm going to use my volume mascara and i'm going to coat every hair that is there if you want to put two coats of mascara you can I like to take time with my mascara cuz I like to coat every lash. I don't like any like you know when it becomes too thick and glumps of mascara. So I really take my time with it. And I put a little bit at the bottom. Now you have it guys. an easy festive look with the right pop of color with the right amount of eye makeup just sort it last but not least i'm going to put a little bit of highlighter because who can forget i'm going to take a little bit of a gold and i'm just going to place it here just here and i'm just going to buff it into my skin bridge of your nose is really important and then if you want you can always see whether you want to do more blush you want to do more contour you want to lessen it i always put a little bit of extra blush i just take whatever's left on my brush and i put it but um for now this is your very easy to do festive look the right pop of color just enough eye makeup you know you can still see the skin you can still see you know you can you can still see texture eyebrows are well groomed you've done enough eye makeup just to accentuate the eye a little bit and then yeah you can do anything to your hair keep it i just keep it super natural and open um but yeah this is my um festive look with a right red um i hope you enjoyed this video